everyone kind of knows what a heart attack is, right? Everyone knows that if they have that crushing chest pain, they think, you know, I'm having a heart attack, I need to go into the hospital. But patients or families may not know that someone's speech being slightly off or someone not being able to see a corner of their vision or something like that, something more subtle, is a stroke. And so it's important for patients and families to know that these are stroke symptoms and to seek medical care quickly because all of our treatments for stroke are very time sensitive. And so it's important for patients to be seen right away. Stroke, more often than not, is a blocked blood vessel in the neck or in the head that leads to a decreased amount of blood flow going to that part of the brain and potentially can threaten those brain cells and lead to permanent damage of those brain cells, and that would be a stroke. And there's also a subset of stroke we call hemorrhagic stroke, where it's not so much that it's a blocked blood vessel with lack of blood flow, but it's that there's some type of bleeding in the brain. The reasons patients might be prone to having a stroke are usually due to other risk factors, things like high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, smoking, poor eating habits. Those would be normal screening for all patients. It's important to see a primary care physician every year and uh, you know, be screened for the basic stuff. The single best thing anyone can do for themselves is not if they are smokers to stop smoking.